Hello again everyone, welcome to another paper airplane tutorial. I am Tree and today I'm going to teach you how to make a very cool paper airplane, the YF23. Um, this one flies very well in an outdoor, but you may need to adjust the wings a lot to make sure that it will fly. Sometimes you need to make the body smaller. Anyways, uh, if you like this paper airplane, why not give the video a thumb up? share the tutorial with your friends and subscribe to my channel and after watching the test flights i hope you guys will decide to make the airplane and uh let's start now now i will show you how to make the airplane first of all you need to have a piece of copy paper you can use uh Either use letter size or A4 paper, but I prefer use letter size. Now let me teach you how to fold it. First of all, let's fold the paper near half. So uh, estimate leave the distance about one inch from the edge here, and make the crease. This is a very important fold. This will decide how your plan will look like and if the plan can fly or not. This is very important. Okay, and after you fold it, let's fold the paper in half again this way. Let's place the paper like this and fold it in half. Let's press it down. I see something wrong. Oh, that's fine. Just uh, make a crease. Okay, make a crease. And now open the two layers and push this crease down to this line. Next, fold this layer back to a side and start from this side repeat the same fold as we just did start from this top edge push straight down to the center piece and for this layer back this is what we should have for now next step I will fold this layer to the other side so I can fold this, this layer Start from the very bottom layer. Okay, flatten the paper there. And start from this edge for to the center crease. That's look perfect. And now you can see this point, the intersection of this edge and the edge of this layer. And then just fold the paper out. And it doesn't look very nice, so I will move it up a little bit, just a little bit, like. Um, you know like uh, this is like one centimeter or half an inch I think this is more than one centimeter and this is about half an inch so one centimeter and 1.333 something centimeters so just first straight up and repeat the sample for the other side however I will show you the other here so I'll fall straight to this line and this from here to here is about uh, 1.33 centimeters or half an inch and here's the bottom of an inch or half of a centimeter so first out the easiest way to fold the other side is fold the paper in half you see this layer one two three four layers so match the last two layers together and then turn the paper over start from this edge fold to the center crease okay fold to the center crease Make sure that all edges are lined up, and then now just match this edge to this edge. So simple. All right. And now I will start from this edge, and I fall straight to this corner. However, it's not really straight to that corner, but about half an inch from this corner along this edge, or one centimeters around that. I don't mind much about this. 
you can adjust it because I'm not sure if you folded the paper airplane with a US letter size paper or A4 paper so it may be different a little bit same thing for this one just for it okay so now you just finished the very important part of the airplane now let's move to the more important part the wings and you see the two layers I just put out push this one down and I will turn the paper like this so thus I can fold the wings much easier I will fold this one to a side first and I will show you what I will do next you can see the intersection okay I will stop now I, I think I talk too fast and it's unclear so you can see the inter uh, intersection of this edge and this edge and there's a point here intersection there I will fold this edge up I will force up a little bit. I will not force straight to this point, but I will estimate about a quarter of an inch. Quarter of an inch is a little bit like this. And I will just fold this up. Very simple. I will push this up a little bit too. And this side and this side is almost even. You see that? This is almost even. And I should make a crease. Okay. And if you force straight to this corner, that's fine. The plane just not look nice. So I can fold um, this part of the paper back here to hold the wings. Same thing. Now I can make another wing. I fold this one to this side, and I curve it slowly until I see this edge. I use this edge as a preference line to fold the other wing. Just match it, and now I can fold this side back too. This looks so nice at this point. However, we need to enhance the wings, otherwise the plane will not fly well. So I fold this this layer or this part of the uh, paper back to the size to this side, and um, just fold this edge down to enhance the wings to make the wings stronger. You know the um, Y yep has a almost like a triangle wings, so I just fold down a little bit more to make it look more like a triangle. And then press it down and I fold this side back. Okay. And uh, to make the other wings, I can still just estimate it, or you can use a ruler. This is about this size, just estimate this. It's about my thumb, the size of the width of my thumb. So uh, the width of my uh, pinky. So I use my pinky as a, as a preference. Just fold this here. And I fold this side back here. And I just fold it. Fold this out. Get the wind stronger and the plane will fly far. Okay. Pinky. Alright. Um, just have fun. Make the paper airplane have fun and enjoy making it. And uh, after you finish this side, the other side, just for this one back here. It's very simple. And flip the paper over. Now I will make it more complicated for you guys and I will challenge you. What I will do now is just fold the whole part here to a side and start from this edge, fold it to the center crease. And stop complaining. If you want to make this paper airplane, you have to pay attention. And if it's too difficult, just slow down, pause the video, and watch it again. You want to have a cool paper airplane, you have to spend time for it. It took me hours and days to design the paper airplane, so I believe you guys can spend like have an hour to make this paper airplane as well so after you finish this side do the other side you see I can adjust this one because the wing is not even I am a very bad folding so I, I do it this way I had to spend time using the ruler to measure it now let's uh, finish this side of the paper airplane start from the edge for it to the center crease Now the plants look pretty nice. I need to pull this one up a little bit too. Here it is. It doesn't look nice to me. So I fix it. This is easy. I just pull this one down a little bit. See. Sometimes you know why I have to adjust. Uh, I have to adjust the papers because sometimes when we fold the paper air plants, um, on all the layers we ship to a side. Uh, they will not stay at the same same place. When you fold one side or something, all the parts of the paper will move. So this is very important that you adjust, adjust the paper. 
so that you can finish the airplane and it will fly and as normal imagine that you have a cross between this edge and the other edge and I'll, I will hold this right here and push this one down when I push that you can see I use the other uh, hands to curve one side of the wings first and when I finish one side cursing one side we do the other one but it's not easy at all I know this is hard it's not an easy paper airplane but, um, let's do it you can do it see after I finish one side I will do the other side but you can see it on the back here it's curved so I know that I didn't do something right I need to put the paper back and fold it in half first I need to fold it in half first and maybe uh, just press it hard so that the plants will not look ugly and I fold it in half this way too instead of skipping these steps you should do it and after you finish that fold now we can try again right. hold it right there and on the back hold this part of the plane there as well you can see how difficult it is it I challenge you I believe you guys can make it so fold it like this and when you hold this like this when you hold the part of the plane like this you can see you finish the other side of the plane already sometimes it's just very easy until you figure it out so I'll show you in details what's wrong if you don't do it correctly now after you finish um, the body of the plane we need to create the wings and uh, and everything else whatever uh, from now you can see we have two layers I will hold the two layers here you see this these are one layers actually there are more than one layers but I combine the two into one so I match the top layer to the top edge here you see the top edge don't tell me don't, you don't see it again just push straight there okay. Uh, also for the other side uh, flip it over and uh, repeat the same fold match this edge to the top edge very simple sometimes you have to adjust adjust uh, adjust it a little bit move it up a little bit move it to the right a little bit so that the wings look even and now it's this is how it should look like and uh, because you can see that I think I forced too much so the top of the plant doesn't look very nice I'll pull this one up I'll pull it up a little bit so that the plant look much better and I'll curve it up so this is how the uh, paper airplane should look like at this time and uh, don't forget to fold the stabilizer up so that the plans look more like the YF35 or YF35 I will cut this one up and um, I will fold the stabilizer I make the sta stabilizer up. so when you fold the stabilizer try to force parallel with the, um, the crease here or the edge there down uh, four straight to the body so you should have something like this um, stabilizers are not straight up it should make an angle of um, like you know like an angle of 30 degrees here should adjust it a little bit and here you go the is the YF35 you can adjust the wings a little bit to make us look more like the YF35 but in general this is how it look like um, I hope you guys enjoy watching this tutorial and um, don't forget to give the video a thumb up support my hard work the more you like will encourage me to make more videos to thank you for watching and see you next time bye bye Okay guys, so I will show you 
you guys how the uh, complete Jazz 39 flies fly amazingly. Alright, let's start now. Jazz 39. 